Sunday Night Fights, episode number two, contender bout number two, Epsilon Seb, two games in the bag, Rom Wu, two games in the bag, we're coming up on the ace game, the rubber match, let's see who goes on to fight Siberian Platoon in week number three for the first title fight, it will all be decided right here, Tez if you would be so kind as to do the honors. Fight fans, I am Ami Poli Tsaifunk, and I would like to warmly welcome back to the show, Sefa. Hi, thanks. Um, I'm going to be following Wu in this game. We just saw a very entertaining game where Seb played really well at the textbook. He played mathematically. He, he was on the left side at one point, uh, defending a strategic point, moves instantly to the right side and defends that side as well. He played great, and this should be a good final. But best out of five has just come down to best of one, and should be an entertaining game. Best of one on Langre, and guess what we've got for you, fight fans? Brits versus Panzer Elite. When I first loaded the replay, I said to myself, What? Now, what are we thinking here, Seth? We're thinking that that Wu had choice, took P.E., and Seb, uh, sorry, Seb, I knew I would do it. Seb counters with Commonwealth? Really? We're thinking that we've never seen Seb play Brits before, and this could be hit or miss with him. He could win, uh, he could get a big win out of it, or he he could make a big mistake, you know, maybe he hasn't practiced that much with Brits. Maybe he's been practicing secretly with Brits and he has this a really good strategy that we don't know about. And this game could go either way, really. And Wu, you can't count him out. He's a great Panzer Elite player. We saw that in game uh, number three with his ACs. He, he just completely trounced uh, Seb completely. So uh, we're going to see a good game, I think. Well, this is a hell of an interesting twist to this story here. Uh, they were four um, really powerful games so far, and now here we have P.E. versus Brits, which we haven't seen since, like, the semifinals of, of some recent tournament. I can't even remember. And, and Seb playing Brits? I don't know if I've ever seen that. So I, I have no idea what's going to happen here. I'm going to be following Seb as Brits. And uh, you'll be following Wu, and I'm glad you're here because you are kind of an OF specialist. You've um, worked with both of these factions, taken them up high on each ladder. And so uh, I expect lots of great insight from Sefa, our expert of experts. How about we count this thing in? You ready to go? Yep, ready to go. I um, like to play all armies, so this should be a f fun opposing fronts game. All right, here it comes, folks. Opposing fronts, Brits and Panzer Elite, the grand finale of episode number two. Let's get this thing going. I'm at five seconds, going to unpause in five, four, three, two, one, unpause. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Section reporting. Ready to close and destroy the... I have to ask, first of all, what is um, Seb making out of his headquarters as the first unit? Uh, there's a guy with a hat, and there are two little diamonds next to him. <laughs> I think it's a lieutenant. 
<laughs> yeah, that's the lieutenant. So he'll likely be retreating the lieutenant to the munitions point on the right and capping that, or maybe going for the fuel on the left. Um, Seb is probably going to set up around the 10 munitions point in the middle. Um, it looks like Boo is going for a standard start. He might go three PEGs and cap company into infantry half track, or he might go early ACs. We'll see what happens. Alright, well, before packing up or anything like that, Seb is pumping out a new Tommy section. So it's Lieutenant Tommy, and um, looks like the Lieutenant wants to go over and start capping that fuel, the plus 10 on the right hand side. These, these first recon squad are chasing the Ketan. The Ketan has taken very little damage, pushing these recon all over the place. They're having a real difficulty fighting the first PG squad that's already upgraded. Boo being very aggressive with his Ketan. However, he's um, not capping any points with that Ketan. He's using it to try and harass the Brit player, which is good, but again, he's not capping any points. He's not getting a plus 10 fuel that Pans really could be getting now. And um, it, I'm not too sure about this infantry section that Seb's got either. It's, it's coming out of his base at the moment. A crawl It's not going to be able to help him in the fight for a long time yet. Yeah, with that truck lifted up, they have to slowly walk through unconnected territory. And uh, Wu has definitely drawn first blood. He's killed two of these Tommies so far. They're garrisoning the house, but I don't think they're going to last long. The G43s are fantastic against the house. They're down to two guys. They ungarrison, and whoa, they're hanging out in green cover by that well. Let's see, here comes the other Tommy section. Finally, uh, they're up by their lieutenant, so they're moving quickly. The PE take a stab at garrisoning the house, but quickly pop out. Was that a sniper shot? I think it was. I think he used uh, an early sniper shot and um, took a panzer grenadier out. He didn't want them to stay in the building for too long and he's about to connect this uh, plus 10 fuel. So in all likelihood he's probably going for an early stir or it depends because he might make a Bren straight away now. We'll see what he makes now. Yeah, that couldn't have been a sniper shot because actually Seb has no ammo. So I guess what, as Brits, you start with 25 because he's at plus zero. So they've still got their initial 25. That was just a straight kill. Um, we got. Is that right, Seth? Yeah, yeah. I think I think so. All right. So here we've got well, the Tommies are going to try to push important. them off of this first. Um, VP here in the center. This this might become a VP war. You never know. There's three PG squads though against this one Tommy squad, and Seb's got to get out of that fight. He's losing guys here, and that's expensive for early Brit manpower to lose guys like that. Look at this. Another Tommy squad coming out of the truck. Yeah, Br Brit's only with uh, two points capped at the moment, but equally Pan's are elite. Um, this whole left side hasn't been capped. Uh, like I said, he was aggressive with the cut and early on he hasn't been doing as much capping um, he isn't building anything in the base at the moment Wu he's got five Panzer Grenadier squads so he's being very aggressive early which might let the Brit player back into this game so uh, all he has to do is make a Bren or take to an early Stuart and uh, it could be all over for Wu well it looks like he wants a Stuart he's, um, he's calling in the, the truck now so that's that's cooking, and these Tommies are sort of just dancing around this house, trying not to lose too much manpower. But yeah, so much fighting and so little capping. Finally, the Ketten's back to its uh, initial orders, and it's got to go out there and get that fuel. Once, uh, once Wu has that fuel, he'll look pretty good as far as resources, and I wonder what kind of tacking we'll see from him. Plus 32 fuel at the moment, he's got Kampf Gruppe Company on the way. I doubt he's going to make anything out of the Kampf Gruppe Company since he has five Panzer Grenadiers on the field. So he'll likely tick straight to either Jagger Command like he did in in the previous game he played Panzer Elite, or he'll go straight for Panzer Support Company, get Light Infantry Half-Track out, and Anti-Tank Half-Track out, and try and pin the Stuart down and kill that. Um, he's just de upgraded defensive operations for healing on his Panzer Grenadiers Squads. So we'll see what happens going into the mid-game. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a close game. The CCS is coming up. The field support's on the field. He's about to park. Looks like he wants to get on that...
plus 10 ammo, but he's doing a bit of a little run around. He can't really find a spot, and that truck's not going down yet. And if that he wants to get the steward out, where did quick, he learn to, how to drive? Yeah, right. And where is he even trying to get to? I can't, uh, he, oh, he's trying to lock down the, the middle ammo. Okay. So he's still running around. He's got a trench there, though, so he's got some time. He's still spinning around. Finally. Finally, the flaps come out. The tent's been raised. The bags are up. Field support is down. And I guess we expect to see a captain coming out first, right? To go after that Stuart. Yep, I would say so. Captain and then Stuart. However, uh, Wu already has his um, Panzer support command up and he's likely going to make an anti-tank half-track as his first unit, so he'll be ready for that Stuart. The question is um, how the fight is going to pan out. Will the Stuart get pinned? Will the Stuart do enough damage and get healing from a saddle squad? And that will be down to the players. We'll see how they can micro. Um, it could be anyone's game at the moment. Captain's halfway done. Wu still harassing with the Ketten on the left-hand side of the map. Um, all the Brit infantry is together. Lieutenant in the house. That's interesting. He pops out. He, uh, Seb really needed to build that CCS because his lieutenant was very low on health. But now we can see he's all healed up again. Very important for Brits. Keep that lieutenant alive. Get that vet. Get charge. Um, it's it's kind of hard to know when you're going to get that first stripe of vet and uh, unlock the charge ability. Can you talk a little bit about that? Um, yeah, it needs to be within range of a Tommy squad that's actually killing units. Um, I, I, I think it would take like three or four more Panzer Grenadiers for him to get a stripe of it. But it's not going to help him a great deal in this stage of the game since Tommy's aren't going to be his main damage dealer. Uh, once the Stuart comes out, he's going to hope for a couple of good canister shots on the Panzer Grenadiers because Wu has um, five Panzer Grenadiers out. There's a mortar half-track that's just gone onto the field, so that'll add to Wu's firepower as well. Panzer forces are trying to secure... Alright, well, the, the dreaded Stuart and his powerful shotgun canister shot is cooking now. Uh, this is going to be an important moment. Wow, look at the mortar ripping up Tommy's. Four or five guys died in that one shell. Seb's trying to expand... Big flame near, onto the, the field. near the trench. If the trench is deleted, uh, well, he's killing medics as well. Brutal. Now, do you think that this is? What do you think about this move to the left that that Seb is uh, is, is creating here to sort of pull the PGs away, make them go defend? I think he's going to try and passively cap with the. His captain on the left, he's trying to deny the fuel with his recon squad at the moment, but um, Wu's good, doing a good enough uh, job at defending that left side. Uh, we'll see if this dude can get a good chance to shot off here. He might have had a chance there, but Wu backed w away and the Stuart was never able to get close. ATHG's chilling by the mortar. He's shooting at infantry. They're both being very conservative. You, you definitely get the feeling that this is uh, everything on the line game five as these guys are not really taking risks right now. We do have an upgraded Bren squad that might try to... Yes, indeed, they button the ATHT. He's going to try to kill it. And if he does that, then he'll have a free reign for the Stuart to just run all over the place. And look at that. This ATHT. Whoa! The Stuart shows its face. ATHT does not get the tread break off. The ATHT falls. Stewart is going to have free reign for a little while. That mortar's got to backpedal into his base, get some cover from the, the flax and the base emplacements. And all the PGs are off to the left. Thankfully for them, they're nowhere near that canister. But that was big for Seb. That was an absolutely massive mistake for Wu. He, he lost the AT half track. Um, he's about to, he upgraded to Panzer Support Command, so he's got about five fuel left for a Panzer IV, and I think he's waiting for the Panzer fuel. He's not going to get another light AT half-track for that Stuart, but he made a big mistake losing his first one. Okay, he just made another light AT half-track, so he's not getting a Panzer IV. Four PGs see the Stuart coming. Stuart says, oh, come on, let me do all you guys with a big blast. They say, hell no, we all retreat. Uh, quick time sink here. I'm at 10 minutes and 10 seconds. 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15. So hopefully we're all yeah, synced up here exactly the same. as Wu scrambles to get this anti-tank back into the game. He has been chased into his base. Although Seb hasn't made that much progress as far as map control goes. He really, he's trying to cap on the right a bit, but he hasn't made much progress on the left. So it's pretty close still. If Wu can get some AT out, he's definitely not out of this. He's still got good map control. He's not, however, Seb just made a sapper squad. Um, he's got two sapper squads on the field now. He'll, he'll likely get one with repairs, one with Piats. Maybe he'll get two with Piats, and that's really going to hurt Wu, because he's got a, a light 80 half-track on the field. Not not at all very good against sapper squads, and um, he's going to have a hard time pinning that steward down. That said, he does have a Panzer Fall on the way, which could potentially do a lot of damage to um, the Brit Army of Seb. Well, here we go. One of those Piets is finished, and we do now have uh, a v stripe of vet on the lieutenant, so he can charge if he wants to. And wow, just catching that first—that was just, I guess, a huge micro mistake from Wu to let him snare that first ATHT. Say again, we are losing yeah, a complete mistake. It, it was a complete blunder. He put it forward into the Bren squad and then tried to get it back, but it was already pinned too much, and the, the steward just came to finish it off. Really, this Panzer Grenadier blob is doing a, a good job of um, harassing units around the map. You know, he's keeping all those Panzer Grenadiers together. But the, but the problem is, he's play with the light 80 half track. He's now got a Panzer four on the field, light 80 half track. In the next fight, he's going to need to make it happen. One of our munitions. The P4, we've seen every version of the Company of Heroes Panzer IV tonight, folks. We've seen this Panzer Elite P4 twice and the Wehrmacht P4 once. The Stuart is no longer the big fish in the sea. And look at the P4, he might come in locked down right here. Let's see, he's starting to pick away at the first truck. The Brit infantry is over to the left. They look like they're going to come back. All the PGs are at the HQ that they make a ripe target. The Stewart's playing very conservatively. He's back in the fog of war. The Brit infantry are closing in. Those Piets and uh, Bren squads could make light work of this Panzer IV. There, this is the button. He's gone dark. We got a kiting um, Stewart coming in here. Wu's capping while fighting. Let's see if we get a canister shot here. There's the ATHT goes in. That Stewart is immobilized and in a very interesting position because he cannot shoot at the P4. But the P4 is backing up a bit. Let's see here. He's still buttoned. I wonder if he has anything to finish him off. These Piets are laying in shots. There's a mortar half, mortar half track round on the Piets. The Piets retreat. The P4 might just survive. Let's see. He's plugging away at Tommy's. The uh, one squad of um, sappers are trying to repair the broken treads on that Stewart, the treads are still broken. Nope, they finished the job. The, the treads are working again. Mortar rounds are coming in. What a hell of a fight, but it looks like it will just keep going. Not a decisive victory on either side. Yep, uh, we're losing a Panzer Grenadier squad there as well. He's just popped a Falstrom Jagers, which I don't think that's going to really help him much. I would have said get another Panzer IV on the field. Um, so his doctrine choice is not going to help him very much. Um, he's in a bad situation at the moment. His Panzer IV is on low health. He doesn't have a very good way to repair it. Um, and I can see Seb taking, probably taking up to tier 3 at the moment to get a, a, an armored command truck out and start getting some tanks on the field. Seb's in a very good position at the moment. Yeah, Seb lost nothing. Look how bold he's being with the steward as it rolls in. This mortar half-track is really the only effective unit now for Wu. He's been killing Tommies here or there, but he can't get any lucky squad annihilations. You know how hard it is to kill that Brit infantry to actually knock him out. We do have some false terms on the field. They're upgraded. And We've got another... just to, uh, got put Churchill out on the field as well, so that's going to be coming to fight soon too. Whoa, Churchill rolling in. The steward is kiting the P4. All the Grens are there. That could be a whopping canister shot, but uh, I don't know. Let's see the steward. Here comes the Churchill. They both want to just kill this P4. I guess they feel that that's the only true threat, but will they be able to do it? Now he's changed target. Now the Churchill's working on the double vet mortar that's just been wrecking Brit infantry. He's got 12 kills already. The Brit infantry are charging. They're chasing the steward. And rear shots on the P4. We got uh, the Luftwaffe squad trying to repair, but that might do it. The P4 is down. 
really bad for losing that light anti-tank half track. You could have sent it back to the base to um, uh, get another tread breaker shot off at the Churchill and tread broke that Churchill. But instead, he decided to keep it in combat. It died, and now his Panzer IV has died. Boo's in a very bad position at the moment. Seb's not only take the tier three, but he has the Churchill on the field, which counters pretty much everything that Woo has. Panzer Shreks are not going to do it for Wu. He needs some serious AT on the field, and he just just doesn't have that at the moment. The Fallschirms, yeah, Wu just can't get a break. The Fallschirms tried to come in and Faust down that annoying Stewart, and they couldn't even get the job done. The Stewart just swallowed up, got a bit of repairs, and look at how aggressive Seb is being. Here he comes crushing through the base barricades with that Churchill. Oh man, this Churchill has taken almost no damage. There's just no counter. He's got one Shrek squad there, and they're doing the, oh, two Shrek squads, sorry. Let's see if they can push this uh, Churchill out of his base. Well, front Seb shot does almost nothing. thrusting his advantage into the Panzer Elite player at the moment. The only thing AT he has is two Panzer Strike squads, nothing else. He's cut uh, Wu off, he's got the tech advantage, he's in a very good position to win this game at the moment. He's got two Sapper squads, they're upgraded. He literally has not lost a single unit yet. We're losing a munition sector. Wu's charging at a tank with a bunch of anti-infantry guys, and, uh, yeah, Seb's looking good. The, still, Wu's done a nice job of not really losing much of the map. He's still harassing with the Ketan on the left-hand side. We know how immobile the Brits can be sometimes. And it's just funny to see a Churchill of all things. I didn't expect that. Yeah, what would really help Wu in this situation would be a flag. He, but he hasn't gone down that tech path. He's decided to get the Fauschirm of Jaegers and the Butterfly Bombs first, instead of the Luftwaffe squad, the Werbel Wind, and the Flak. So a Flak would really be good in this situation, but he's not going to have that for a long, long time. Flak is the, the primary weapon that's really very good for the Luftwaffe. Um, he doesn't have very good AT. We've seen Cromwell command tank coming out now, possibly followed by Cromwells and the uh, Sherman. Yep, Fireflies are going to come out and that's going to be very bad for Wu. I, I'm not sure I can see this, him pulling this game back really. There was a huge infantry fight in the center that the Brits won. Lieutenant's now got two stripes of vet and these, these two Shrek squads just know that they don't have what it takes to take on the Brit infantry and the Churchill and they just wisely retreat. He, uh, Wu's got to somehow try to regroup and see if he can figure out a way to put a chink in this very strong uh, Brit army. Wu did not need those Faustram Jaegers at that time of the game. They only have one kill, and he does not need any anti-infantry infantry at the moment. He had five Panzer Grenadier squads. Um, he didn't need the Shreks either. They take away from his anti-infantry armor of Panzer Grenadiers. What he needed was a flag, and he, he doesn't have that at the moment. He's really suffering against tanks right now, um, and it's showing. One of our strategic points. Seb just locked the the filthy AVRE. I wonder if we're gonna see the big the big ball cannon of the AVRE in game five of a Sunday night fights. That would just be too much. I think that would be the icing on the cake, really. That would that, that would yeah. Oh, big canister shot. PGs die, nobody gets annihilated. Wu kind of got a break there, although he lost a few dude. And look at this Churchill pushing, he wants to the, that double vet a mortar with 16 kills is really only Wu's only effective unit in the game, and uh, he escapes behind the hedges. The Shreks are going to try to lay in some more shots, but it looks—I mean—the front armor of this Churchill. Oh, there's some good penetration finally. That's going to force him to back up a bit. Three Shrek squads now. They misfire out of the house. They do good damage. The Churchill's down to about 40 percent. Funny to see them both linked up with the command tank. And it's a um, Cromwell coming out of the armor command. Yep, uh, Wu is still in a bad position. He's not taking up to anything like Marders. He's not getting a light AT half track on the field. He's getting uh, another tank buster squad. He's, 
he's trying to defeat the tanks with tank buster squads and pure infantry at the moment um, not using combined arms it's going to be really difficult for Wu to pull this game back Seb, if Seb micros properly um, with his vehicles he, he might just win the game in this encounter now here comes a huge push, folks! Seb's looking to close the door right now! The PGs are forced to retreat! There's armor coming in from all sides! The Commonwealth is raging forward! The steward is trying to block that half-track from retreating! He wants to kill that pesky mortar! And look at these PGs getting hung up on Brit units, not even able to complete their retreat! And the whole Brit force is surging through! And look at this, we're in your base! He wants to get that mortar half-track down, he's starting to work on the emplacements now. Seb just pushing everything forward, he wants to put lights out right here. I tell you, if Wu had just one flak on the field, then this would be a completely different engagement. But it's really unfortunate for him, he has one, two, three, four, six Panzer Grenadier squads, um, Faustrum Jagers and Luftwaffe squad, pure infantry against the combined arms of Seb. He's got no chance at, at the moment of winning the fight. Seb, like, does not want to lose a single unit. His Piats are repairing his steward. Like, the steward's usefulness past 20 minutes, usually the Brits don't even care if they lose it because it's just not the most effective unit and late in the game. But look at Seb, keeping absolutely everything alive, cutting Wu off of his resources on the left, and going to white that Western VP. It's really unfortunate for Wu because he went for a, a large anti-infantry army. He's depending on those Shreks to kill armor. You can't use pure Shreks as Panzer Elite. It just doesn't work. You need to use them in combination with the Marder. You need to use them in combination with the light anti-tank half-track. Or you can use them in combo with the flag. They just don't work if you use pure Shreks as Panzer Elite. It works for Wormack, but not for Panzer Elite. I think that was a canister shot just there. I saw a puff of red smoke explode around all those grenadiers' heads as many of them die. They're extremely understrength. One-man squad, couple two-man squads. And yeah, when you see when you see Panzer Elite fighting with just infantry, you know they're in a whole lot of trouble. They they need their vehicles, they need their armored strength. And right now these chromos are shredding these guys. Well, this is the thing, it's not like he's been uh, forced into this situation of using pure Panzer Grenadiers, because he's floating 232 fuel at the moment. He could have um, tucked up, try and get some Panthers out, um, try to get a Marder out, uh, maybe make, make another light then to take half track, you know. Uh, but he's just using pure infantry at the moment and relying on Panzer oh, Grenadiers for strength, and it's not checkmate. working. The PG squads are about to die. Two squads down to one man, and there's Annihilated Squad. They drop a Shrek, and this just could be it. All the anti infantry in the back, and that's it. Wow, some Luftwaffe pick up a Shrek, but Wu has had it. He said this was fun. Throws in the towel. GG! The Commonwealth wins. The Commonwealth wins. I don't think we got a video for them. Roll those allies, please, Pizzle. Sefa, what an amazing series. Who would have thought that it came down to Seb's Brits dominating on Langer? He played very well. He played the textbook Brits, really, and um, there was not much we could do about it. Well, there was, because he made a lot of tactical errors. What we just saw was... Um, a reflection of what Wu was doing in Game 3 where Wu had the ACs against Seb's MGs and he was just microing around the MGs. Um, in this game, Wu had the Panzer Grenadiers and Seb was just completely mic out microing him with all these tanks so there was no way that Wu could come back into the game using pure infantry power. One of my favorite things about Seb when he's really on is his unit preservation and in this game Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think 
a single squad or vehicle was annihilated. If you look around the map at the very end there, the Cromwell's got almost no health, and, you know, you have the Churchill also about to die, the command tank at half health, but did, did Seb lose a single unit that entire game? It's unmatched. It's unmatched because if you give him the opportunity, then he'll take that and he'll micro his units around your Panzerstrex forever and they won't do any damage. What we needed to do was get that tread breaker, get that flak into a good position and tread break those tanks or tread break that Stuart and then finish it off. But if you can't do that, then the, the Brit player, especially in Seb, in Seb's hands, those tanks in Seb's hands, they're just going to out micro you forever. Yeah, I mean, the whole, the whole last five or ten minutes was just watching Shrek shots go into the ground or go into the front armor and just not do the kind of uh, impact damage that you would need to take out any of those units. So they just, they just kept pushing, kept pushing, and kept pushing. But, man, it sure was fun to watch Seb bring everything he had in that final push and just slam the door and catapult himself into our first title fight. Folks, I'm so excited. Seb versus Siberian Platoon. That's right. Next week, December 11th, 8 p.m. GMT, right here. Sefa, you've been a fantastic uh, analyst. Man, I don't know. what. Like, after having you, I don't know how we can do without you, man. You might have to come back again. Um, but what about seeing you playing in a contender bout? Is that a possibility in Season 3? Um, I'm not too sure. I'll keep you posted on all my situation. I'm going to be moving out of this house recently, so I'm not gonna, sure what my internet situation is going to be, but we'll see. And I, I love casting this, uh, this series with you. It's been uh, an honor casting, and um, I'm going to be watching the rest of the series as well. I've watched in the past a lot of the games, and I, I'm actually a fan of your casting and the series, so um, I hope to see more of you in the future. Thanks for having me on. Oh, you're welcome, and thank you for the kind words. Oh, boy. I'm looking forward to next week already. Hopefully, Seth will get us situated and, and join us um, behind the, the keys and the mouse in an upcoming um, SNF bout. It's a long season. You know, we've got two weeks off in December, and we're going to be, you know, for, for Christmas and New Year's, and then we're going to be running into February. So there's, there's time to get your chops and gear, time to face... The greatest players of, of COH here, and we are going to see two of them face off next week. Check the portal for the upcoming Week 3 fight card and the news and the post. And please don't forget to follow us, especially here on Twitch TV. We still want to get partnership. We know they're busy, but we want to prove to them that COH is still a game that stands up and we can have a great show here. So follow us. We need that. And, you know, bump the threads, Twitter, all that stuff, all that good stuff. So on behalf of Pez Reborn for his wonderful camera work, Biosparks, Sefa, I am Ami Polizei Funk. It's been a pleasure tonight, folks. See you next week.